Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? Oh, Cinnamon, where you gonna run to? All on that day, you're gonna run to the rock and say, please hide me, you'll run to the rock. Say, please hide me, you'll run to the rock. You say, please hide me, all on that day. You'll say, rock, what's the matter with you, rock? Don't you see that I need you, rock? Oh, all on that day. Then I'll run to the river. It was bleeding, you run to the sea. And it'll be bawling, you run to the sea. It'll be bleeding all on that day. I was browsing Facebook the other day and I saw a congregation of friends defending the faith, defending a country. Many of them were infuriated by the recent events. Now, when I say recent events, most of you think of the people who have been killed, the riots, the protests, the ongoing acts of oppression. But those friends understood the recent events to mean looting, speaking negatively about the president, and the oh so dangerous Black Lives Matter movement in which Negroes and Negro lovers are ready to burn this sucker down. As I riffled through the baneful commentary, I was overcome with outrage. You see, those same friends possess a courage that is all too comfortable, all too easy, and it is the perfect example of privilege. Digital courage. With such courage, you can log off any time you want. And it doesn't have to be real to you because you don't have to be there. They join the choir of flag-clutching citizens who, in the spirit of the oppressor, pray for our acquiescence as the president digitally leads them on in feigned valiance with no regard for the destructive implications of supremacy. I have been admonished by these citizens claiming that violence is not the way and that as an artist, I should be quick to help my people understand. Well, I would like to pose a question to those friends, rhetorical in essence. How much peaceful do you want us to be? Ah, but you don't want us to be peaceful, do you? You want to put us in our places. You want to keep us silent and groveling at your economic feet. And you expect me to be the time-honored overseer. Well, to that, I say, stop stating the obvious and using that as an excuse to invalidate the emotional state of black people. We know the riots are trouble. But being black and unheard in America is frustrating. 400 years frustrating. You understand? I suppose the banter is not over until the privileged men have explained us away along with the current happenings, yes? Saints, digital courage will have folks thinking they run things. But be careful, Cinnamon. Your tongue is touching on places, deep and mysterious places of the African diaspora, which you could never begin to understand. And if you're sick of hearing about it, make a change, or keep America in her sick room. Those rioters are tearing up the streets. That is abundantly clear, but it is you who have blood on your hands. You who have witnessed the ugly, ugly face of racism and classism in your own communities, your own workplaces and families. And I do suppose in this instant, a mirror is harder to hold. You who have built a presence on social media and use it to rant and to play the patriotic victim. 
You who begin statements with, this country was built, or as Christians, you who make excuses for blatant supremacy every single day, Many are looking to us artists for something beautiful, for something concrete, something to move us all forward with clear hearts and minds. But I have no pretty words to espouse modern day lynching and a fully enabled system of racism. I have no words to put out the fires, but if I am a bastion to some young man or woman following in my footsteps, then I offer this statement in fiery indignation. Black and brown people, true allies across the color spectrum, be heard. And may God continue to allow fate to deal mightily with the hand of the oppressor. Then you run to the Lord, say, please hide me, Lord. Don't you see that I'm praying here, Lord, all on that day. Then the Lord said, you ought to have been praying, the Lord said. You ought to have been loving your fellow man, the Lord said. You ought to have been caring all on that day. Then the Lord will say, go to the devil, the Lord will say. Go to the devil, the Lord will say. Go to the devil all on that day. Then we'll cry power, power, Lord, power, power, Lord, power, power, Lord, power, power, Lord.